We just got in some new features for Adobe Camera Raw, and there's actually two of them that I use all the time. So I wanted to show you how they work really quick. I'm going to get started here in Adobe Bridge, and I'm going to select this raw file here, and then hit Command R, so it'll open it in Adobe Camera Raw. So now that I'm in here, I'm going to come over to the histogram and show you the first feature. You see as I hover over these different sections, they all light up. And when I change sections, the information changes here in this box. So here in the center, I have exposure. To the right, I have highlights and whites. On the left side of the histogram, I have shadows and I have blacks. If I were to just click and drag to the left under exposure, you can see the exposure slider move to the left. And now when I move the histogram to the right, you see the exposure slider move to the right. I'll bring it back over here. Right around there looks good to me. And this part's kind of blown out here, this little white section. So I'm going to come over to the whites, click and drag it to the left, and you see the slider moving all the way to the left. I need to bring it back towards the right a little bit, and right around there looks good to me. I can bring in the highlights a little bit, and that looks great. The next feature I wanted to show you is right over here. You see it's the radial filter, and there's a hotkey for it. When you hit the letter J, it activates this tool and changes up your panel here. At the moment, I haven't made any changes here. Everything is zeroed out. So if I were to click and drag, I actually get this error message here. I'll just hit OK. Don't worry about that. Basically, all that happened is it's telling me that I have to put some kind of changes in here. I know I want to affect the exposure, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I want to add some focus to this guy here. So I'm just going to click and drag, and you start seeing the radial filter come out. As I bring it out, I'm noticing that I have it a little higher than I wanted. So if I hit the space bar, I could actually reposition it. Right around here looks good. If I wanted this to be a perfect circle, I'd introduce the shift key, and it would hold it down for me that way. But I'll leave it as an oval, and somewhere around here looks good to me. I just want to add some focus here. And let me scroll down to the bottom here. I have this set to only affect the outside. If I click this button here, it'll actually bring it in towards the center. And if I had the letter X, it'll swap it back out. That's a little hot key for this one here. All right, so since I brought the exposure down a little bit, you see that the outside has a darker exposure than it does right here in the middle. And that's helping me bring some focus in here. Another thing I like about this feature is um, I have this feather control here. You want to make your selections a little bit bigger because as I bring in more of this feathering, you see it's coming towards the center. So right around there looks good to me, just to add a little focus here. And I'll, I'll blur out this back section here, so I don't want it to be as sharp. And with the clarity, I could bring this back down a little bit, and it makes it a little bit softer for me. Let me adjust this feathering a little bit more. There we go. And I'll hit the letter H to get my hand tool and I've made all the changes I want. And that's just a quick look at two of the new features available to you in Adobe Camera Raw 8.2. For more information on this post, just click on the description below.